Mike Menis. Okay, I'm going to start over. Mike Stark with Congress Monroe from Tennessee, right? Tennessee, right. First yeah. issue. Uh, the Obama, Obama administration has pretty much told Fox News they won't be going on Fox News until at least 2010. And they say it's out of retribution, you know, explicitly punishment because they, there's no editorial controls placed on Glenn Beck or Sean Hannity or Bill O'Reilly or any of the other folks that they consider to be propagandists and spewers of lies. Do you think this is a strategy that will work for Obama? You know, I, I know. I have, I'm a newcomer up here, as you know. Yeah. And I'll talk to any news organization, whether they're, whether they're pro or whatever. And you need to separate editorialism, an editorial, from news. Right. And I think that's two things that get mixed up. People get heated, and one of the things that I've With good reasons. A lot of editorial programs... Newsmakers go on them and make news while they're there. They do. They do. There's no question that's true. But you can, if you take the, the flip side of that, look at a Keith Olbermann show on MSNBC right. or uh, Rachel Maddow show, and, and those are, are are not watched as much. The Fox News has a huge viewing, and of course, the more conservative area like I am, I saw a poll a year ago where 60% of the news is gathered from Fox. People no longer watch the, the NBC, ABC, CBS sure. evening news like they used to when I grew up. Do you think that's a good thing? I think you should. I've, I mean, look. Take a look right here. Look at yeah. all these newspapers. I've got the hey, I've got the New York Times. I got the Washington Post. I've got the Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Times. So I'm an, an investor's business daily. So I've got them you're all. You're spreading yourself I'm thin, spreading, but you're I'm capturing everything, all right? Right. Exactly. So, um, so you think it's a bad thing for it everybody is, to get their info I mean, from? I think. I think just the Fox. I, I do. It's a major news organization. Yeah. He should go on the news part, not the opinion shows. But, but the, the major news shows. Well, the news part refused to carry his speeches. They refused to do the things all the other networks did. I think they also said it was partly retribution for them no, not carrying not, the uh, health care speech. Would you go on Maddo? Would you go on Olbermann sure. if they invited you? Absolutely. I mean, you, you're, you're a doctor. You, you, you've got some expertise in the health care debate. I absolutely would go on there. And that's one of the reasons, and you probably know this. I think you'd be a great representative of your party, so please don't go on because... You know, I come from the other side of the aisle, and I prefer the uh, dingbats. Well, <laughs> you know, you, you come up here, you prepare yourself, you study, and you learn the issues. And you, if you're able to present your side, then you know, people... All right, I'm going to ask you a dangerous question now. Any comment on Rush Limbaugh's inability to buy the uh, l the uh, St. Louis Rams? I, you know, I, 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 uh, I didn't like his statement years ago, uh, yeah. what he said. And, and you know, that's a, that's a free market system. They can sell that business to whomever they want to. That's right. And, and players that, can play players for whoever, can play they want. whoever they want to. Exactly. And I, I'm going to put some words into your mouth. You, you can decline to uh, affirm or not affirm them, but people mostly get what they deserve in this country. Well, I don't know about that. I... I Sometimes good people get bad things happen to good yeah. people, and you know that too. But this isn't a case of that. And, uh, well, I don't know. It depends on which side you're looking from. I, that's, right. that's you know that's a business decision that the St. Louis team and franchise. And NFL. He's from he's from Missouri, and I'm sure he wanted yeah. to get back and own part of a football team. He's a huge football fan, as you know, as I am. Yeah. Too, so yeah, it's almost too I bad a, because I, I mean, Titans could play. I, I really think every owner of every sports franchise should be a huge fan of whatever sport they Absolutely. own. Absolutely. And I don't think anyone disputes that he and is a huge fan. Is a huge fan of the NFL, and and if um, well, words have meaning and consequences, and I think he might have made his bet on this one. But thanks very much.